Welcome back to Ellie Scrubs In. Today, we're walking through a laparoscopic cholecystectomy, a minimally invasive removal of the gallbladder, most commonly performed for symptomatic cholelithiasis or acute cholecystitis. This narrated walkthrough covers the key steps of the procedure, what instruments are used, and important pearls and pitfalls to remember. Step 1. Positioning and Setup the patient is placed in the supine position, under general anesthesia, with both arms tucked. A Foley catheter and orogastric tube are typically placed. The abdomen is prepped and draped in sterile fashion. The surgeon stands on the left side, with the assistant and monitor positioned on the right. The patient is placed in reverse Trendelenburg with left side tilt to move the small bowel away from the gallbladder. Step 2. Access and Port Placement Pneumoperitoneum is established using a varus needle or open hassan technique, typically through the infraumbilical incision. Once insufflation reaches 12 to 15 mm mercury, a 10 to 12 mm camera port is placed at the umbilicus for a 30 degree laparoscope. Three additional 5 mm trocars are inserted, one in the epigastrium, the second in the right midclavicular line, a few centimeters below the costal margin and the third in the right anterior axillary line, slightly lower. This last port is often called the lateral retractor port. Pearl. Maintain triangulation and adequate spacing to avoid clashing instruments. Step 3. Initial survey and retraction. The camera is inserted and a diagnostic laparoscopy is performed to confirm anatomy and rule out other pathology. The gallbladder is retracted superiorly and laterally using a grasper through the lateral port. The infundibulum is retracted medially and inferiorly with the right-hand grasper. This exposes Callet's triangle, the key anatomical space for safe dissection. Step 4. Dissection of Callet's triangle. Using blunt and electrocautery dissection, the peritoneum overlying Callet's triangle is incised. Dissection continues until the cystic duct and cystic artery are clearly isolated. Only these two critical structures should enter the gallbladder, the cystic duct and artery. This is known as the critical view of safety. The cystic artery is clipped proximally and distally with laparoscopic clip appliers, then divided with scissors. The same is done for the cystic duct. Pitfall. Failure to obtain the critical view is the number one cause of major bile duct injury. Take your time. Step 5. Gallbladder Removal With the duct and artery divided, the gallbladder is dissected from the liver bed using hook cautery, spatula, or energy devices like the harmonic scalpel. Bleeding is controlled with electrocautery or hemostatic agents. The gallbladder is removed through the umbilical port often inside a specimen retrieval bag to avoid contamination. If the gallbladder is distended, it may be decompressed with suction before removal. Pearl. Inspect the liver bed and clip sites carefully for bleeding or bile leak before closure. Step 6. Closure and postoperative care. The camera is removed under direct vision and all port sites are inspected. Ports 10 mm or larger typically have their fascia closed with O-absorbable suture. Skin is closed with 4-O, monocryl, glue, or staples, depending on surgeon preference, and dressings are applied. Post-op care includes early ambulation, diet advancement as tolerated, and discharge within 24 hours for uncomplicated cases. Final Thoughts Laparoscopic cholecystectomy is the gold standard for gallbladder removal, but attention to anatomy, exposure, and safety remains essential at every step. Thanks for scrubbing in today. Subscribe to Ellie Scrubs In for more narrated surgical walkthroughs, and check out our video on open cholecystectomy if you're ready to compare techniques.